just let me remind you the definition of this QMAP space because um, <coughs> some of people ask about the, uh, the exact definitions. Um, So the first of the assumption is that the um, G act on a fine variety and assume that the stable locus equal to semi-stable locus so that the, this one is equal to <coughs> the quotients. Um, the Q map space, the quotient map space going to be into W G beta, this is a um, compact, uh, this is, uh, let's assume that this is projective variety, and also smooth. I think I, I, I forgot to mention that, that this must be smooth to, to be a, this is a virtually smooth. I want uh, the target is smooth. Um, it's a collection of a C. P, um, U, and X. So C, X is usual data as in the case of a stable, stable map case. Just another curve marking at the smooth locus and uh, P is a principal bundle uh, over C. Uh, principal on C and and uh, you, uh, I like to consider you as uh, sections of uh, this fiber bundle. Uh, the fiber is W. So here, this disk, my notation, this one is going to be P times W divided by a diagonal action Z. So G act on P and W. Uh, diagonal way. So, so P W equal to uh, G P G W. <coughs> and uh, uh, this U is a uh, sections. And, and satisfying the uh, following property. First of all, just degree property, degree over U is better. I just, let me just skip that part. I mean, it's not much important. For example, um, maybe we can say that following way, I mean, that just fix the, uh, uh, to have this uh, quotient, we need uh, linearizations, um, some equivalent line bundle on W, which is usually trivial, and that line bundle give us uh, rise to the, uh, um, the ample line bundle on this uh, quotient. And uh, using that ample line bundle, uh, we like to measure the uh, degree, for example. You can do it such a way, even though that's not refiner than the uh, which I explained before. Uh, using that way, um, the, the degree of U is just defined by nothing but degree of, for example, um, that L uh, just constructed by um, the mixed construction and then... So in this case, this is just a number. Fix this one and um, the another condition is that the, uh, <coughs> the U inverse image of uh, unstable locus. This is an unstable locus of W. Must be uh, finite. And also away from nodes and markings. So, 
So should we denote by some, some kind of base locus? I mean, but outside of that base locus, so, so that B, B is of, of going to a finite point on C. Uh, so markings are here, like x1, xk. But the uh, base point B should they be away from the, those uh, ones, like here. Not also away from node. So outside of that uh, B, only outside from that B, there's an actual map. I mean, this is just, I'm, I'm going to remark. Just, uh, <coughs> outside or from B, actually, there's a map from uh, C to the quotient. Or the induced by this. Because of the, at the base locus, I mean, the each of landing on the unstable locus so, so that you don't know where you should go in the quotient. There's no such point on the quotient. <coughs> and there's one more condition that uh, amplis conditions. And it can be explained by some numerical way. I mean, the, the numerical way is, is the following one. Um, so amplitude condition is following. The, every rational tail, tail of C, so on the C, uh, there might be uh, some component P1, which is a tail P1, um, must contains um, at least the two markings. So together with the node, Every rational tail contains a three at most uh, at least three special point. <clears throat> That's a uh, condition, and also every rational bridge. Uh, I'm not sure that this is a correct terminology. Um, the, so here, bridge means that the the following thing uh, the the P one. This which has uh, only two nodes, which has only two nodes, which we call the rational bridge. That rational bridge must uh, carry a uh, non-trivial data. So here, non-trivial data means it must contains. Uh, Con uh, contains a marking, or it must contain a marking, or if there's no marking, then uh, that uh, P1, the rest tail, <coughs> must carry non trivial degree or non trivial degree. Uh, this, uh, Degree of U. So, 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 degree of U leads to that bridge P1. Uh, that, that P1. So something must be happens. I mean, the, this must be, cannot be a constant map. This and and there's one more condition. Uh, just like in the case of a stable map case, we have to uh, um, give condition on the elliptic component. The the 
every elliptic component has uh, a <coughs> marking or, or, or has also a special point. So here special point means marking or nose or um, a non-trivial degree. That's it. That's the um, concrete conditions we impose in here. A finite quotient singularity in the yeah, yeah. yeah for example and that in that case um, also you can compactify it but the uh, it's not done yet so sorry I mean the, you have to use sort of a uh, twist stable map you have to use some you have to consider that quotient as a uh, so delete one part stack. This has a delete one part stack, and then just carry this whole thing as a um, kind of a, a twist <laughs> step in my case. I mean, just allow that the, for example, curve C is also delete one part curve, so balanced, and so on. But yeah, which I don't want to. Um, so everything is a very, very, very natural thing. I mean, the, 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 there are only three data, a very easy thing, and curve, principal bundle, that's a very, very long thing. I mean, the modulable curves, step, uh, pre-step curves, and also modulable bungee over curve. And I'm just we are adding some section data. Um, so everything looks in each step. It's a very um, you're adding just very easy thing. That, that just, just to make sure that so this after this condition ex I mean, excludes this uh, eventless quasi-life space. Exclude um, the rational Right. Strictly speaking, yes. Strictly speaking, yes. But the of course, you can um, generalize this thing, trivially modify a little bit. Just fix C when I'm say when I, I say. So I said always. Some sometimes I said fix the C. So when. Uh, um, let's just drop the. What conditions? Uh, let's just drop it, this amplitude conditions. And that, that space will be denoted by just a Q map X beta C. Oh, and, and the smooth course. Let's just also. It's okay to consider also any nodal curve as far as. Um, no, 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 just so please. Um, I have to be more careful. I mean, the, I have to say, say. <coughs> so. Let me simplify, f I mean, further in, the, in this way. No, no, the smooth curve and case marking is zero. There's no markings. So in this case, just drop the, this amplitude conditions. And then this Q map space denoted by this way will be also compact 
also a separate two. Um, so, so by forgetting this section um, data, we have mapped the bungee. So maybe this notation is uh, could be looks better. I mean, the, this is a collection of all principal bundle P over curve C. C also varies. Principal band P also vary, and then MGK. So we are just adding the uh, section data when you go over from here to here. So these two are very well known, I'm thinking. I mean, they are that smooth artin stacks. And the, but here just we are adding sections. But the, the sections, are, uh, when we vary P and curve C, um, for example, so, suppose W is a vector space, then this is a vector bundle, right? So suppose W is a vector bundle, um, oh, sorry, vector space. So, let, so for a moment, let's assume that W is a vector space. Then it's a really, uh, U is collection of uh, sections of some vector bundle. But that rank of that fact, uh, sorry, the, the dimension of a section space H0 of C of this bundle is jump around. So that's a little uh, bad. So uh, just twist high enough. So, um, this is uh, dimension of this one is constant, and uh, h one of that is, is uh, in particular suppose this is zero, then this is the constant. So we like to interpret the section u as an element in in here. So when m circle is positive, the this u also section of the high twist one, and among here. Some sections are in, in, in the So now that we like to think of that some epsilon, some total space of a factor bundle on, on this burn stack, burn G, with the fiber, this fiber, that this is going to be fiber. H C zero over. So fiber is that one, and that's the total space of this vector bundle with this fiber, and just collect the uh, only sections U coming from in, inside of in here. That's a collect that U, and that condition is some closed conditions, and uh, this kind of conditions are the the non-degenerate conditions and uh, amplice conditions are. Uh, open conditions so that this Q map uh, stack is a uh, local closed sub stack inside of epsilon. So can you ensure the vanishing of the H1 even for first compact time? So if the sure, vanishing sure. is over Mg or Mg bar, the vanishing of, that you get really a vector bound. Here, in the C, so it could be not a curve. Yeah. Yeah, in general, no cover. So this is a, any any nodal curve. Yes. So you need to show that boundedness of the uh, existence of this M circle. Uh, this is true uh, for any uh, any that uh, Cauchy, stable Cauchy map for any stable Cauchy map of genus G, K, degree, T. So once you fix such uh, data, T, G, K, um, the, you can find the M, um, M circle such that this is always true. 
for any C and any P. So, so, so we, we, we call that this, this space is uh, st still question this whole thing. Okay, so, so now we can see that this is an artist stack, and um, <coughs> also let mention about the uh, why uh, this one carry a perfect obstruction theory. I mean, why the deformation theory of that uh, QMAP space is nice. Uh, that the reason is that the uh, um, the it's a stack of a bungee, and the bungee is a, a smooth, so that uh, obstruction theory is governed by that relative map from Q map to bungee, because this is a smooth stack. Um, so uh, we have to just uh, consider this relative obstruction theory, and uh, that. Rho is, <laughs> as I said again, it's uh, you're just considering the adding sections and the uh, deformation sections are very easy to handle. Again, um, so curve C maybe have some no singularities, but. Um, this uh, p times z, w, you might just consider w as a vector space. And then just, um, if w is a vector space, then the total space has a singularity only above the node, right? So suppose w is small, then this space, of, um, Fiber bundle I and mean the actual um, and the node we have a uh, normal cross singularity here coming from that node it looks like that one and we have sections U and sections are very nice special map I mean the, it's a, a emotion map <coughs> and the singularities are well, the target is actually coming from the domain space C, and so that the uh, deformation uh, space is exactly nothing but equal to H0 of, um, so what, just let me see, extension of zero um, omega W, uh, this omega <coughs> if if w is smooth um, so this is very easy to see right there and, and then um, this one is off section space So, but in generally, uh, the, for any, oh, the, the relative ones, uh, the, the pi, sorry, the pi, so relative one, sorry, the omega pi. So this is a, so this is equal to, so in, in particular, this double smooth case is equal to h0 over, uh, tangent space, the relative tangent space of pi. 
uh, at uh, protect by use. The, in general, it, uh, for any for any W, which might have some similarity, W for any W, just replace that omega pi, just replace this one uh, to um, the cotangent complex L pi. And what we can see that the when W is LCI, um, the extension two becomes zero. There's no uh, higher extensions, so so that uh, this uh, extension of I. Um, it could be zero. So it's only supported in the zero and one. Um, <coughs> one. So that implies the Q map space is virtually smooth. Um, it carries a canonical perfect obstruction theory. So the okay, that's um, one thing, and um, <clears throat> I like to add one more thing. The uh, when uh, the W is a vector space case. So when W is a vector space case, actually this Q map when. Um, Actually, this Q map is going to be zero locus of some another bundle on epsilon. Actually, this Q map is going to be some zero locus of some sections of a vector bundle on uh, on the epsilon. Uh, so actually, it's very easy to see that the uh, the the condition condition that section U of this twist bundle actually section of not twist one it can be interpreted as a, some uh, zero locus of some 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 vector bundle V on on the epsilon. Um, so that the uh, this Q map, the first fundamental class of this Q map, defined by this uh, obstruction theory, is nothing but exactly um, uh, defined intersection of uh, that um, section uh, that uh, section S. Section of uh, S and into section. So it's very uh, concretely we can know that the what the virtual fundamental class looks like.
but, but to be precise, I mean, the, this epsilon is some epsilon circle. I mean, the, this epsilon circle uh, means that the, we need to add the condition that u is, u satisfies the, that, um, oh, I erased the non degeneracy conditions. And also, amplice conditions, so that we have to only worry about whether section U is coming from coming from here. That interpreted by the zero locus of some section S. Let me just give us one example. Even though it looks very trivial, it's very interesting. Um, <coughs> suppose, uh, so W acts act by Z, and let's assume that W contains uh, uh, only one or uh, Z orbit. Uh, Okay, this is an open set. It's a contained Z. So, for example, um, general linear group R C is contained inside of endomorphism of R C. So that the quotient x becomes a point. Even in that case, the QMAP space is very interesting. Um, the, why? Um, Why? Because the, the, the section U could be non-trivial. Um, uh, uh, just uh, let me give you an example the, when the In the case of R equal to 1, uh, the C, uh, C star is contained inside of C. That's W our G in that, that case. And then, um, so, what, so what do you have? The, uh, um, you have the curve C and And the uh, uh, <coughs> line bundle, sister principal bundle is, uh, becomes a line bundle after twist by uh, the, the uh, product by C. And we have sections U and the only uh, we are interested in the uh, zero locus of that section U. So the picture looks like following the curve C um, and you have a marking um, and uh, also divisor U, which is supported outside of markings and uh, also nodes. And so maybe continuing. Um, so 
So the whole collection of such thing can be denoted by the uh, um, the <coughs> m bar z k and degree t. So t is a number of the, the degree t is. A, So note that the, uh, this uh, um, this kind this, this looks like a new marking the, the yellow one this base locus it's a new marking but they can be coincide they may be coincide to each other I mean the, in the beginning maybe they are separated but the, in the limit they could be coincide so that you could get a two times of a point that's allowed so that's different from the uh, the usual marking. Behave is so. In fact, I, I guess the why not? I'm sorry, the, the in a sense, I mean, this one is plays a plays the, the role of n bar g k. Yeah, the n bar g k was. Uh, very important role in the Kolmogorov Witten theory, but uh, using this uh, QMAP space, we can define the, uh, another theory, and and then the uh, this modular space actually replaces that and the GK. Was some slight generalization about this one will be replaced here, the and the GK. Let me say about some application. So as usual, the um, we have evaluation map into x because the uh, at the marking at the marking uh, the base locus is away from marking so at the marking the map uh, the section u land inside of a stable locus of w so that it, it has an evaluation map into that quotient x And then we have this picture, so um, it gives us some, some invariant, uh, some, we, we can say, uh, let's say just integrals. Uh, because the, uh, 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 this, uh, the integrals are coming from uh, this um, tautological map, and pull back the class, and um, take the integration over virtual bundle of the class, it's going to be depending on the uh, presentation of x uh, by some GIT quotients. Um, the in principle, the QMAP space depending on the how to present x in terms of GIT quotients. For example, the Grassmannian uh, G R N. So you know that GRN, Grassmannian is also isomorphic to Grassmannian of M minus RN. And these two can have a two different uh, realization of uh, GIT quotients using this picture or that picture. And then the QMAP space, not isomorphic, they are different. Even though the uh, x is the same, so the a priori the uh, the integrals are depending on the uh, the 
GRT descriptions of X. So let's just call it just kind of some interest and uh, provide some kind of a cohomological field theory. Uh, so some kind of topological field theory. But um, which coupled with some kind of a gauged, um, gauged one, because it's over bungee. I mean, you can uh, also take the, uh, some topological class from this bungee modular space. So it's a, some kind of some kind of gauged cohomological field theory. So, so it has a more rich structure than the usual one. Um, defined by chromov witt invariant. Um, and we checked that the, uh, some examples that um, the integrals, not in general, equal to chromov witt invariant. However, the uh, working conjecture is that the um, In a sense, in a suitable sense, they must be equivalent in a suitable sense. Uh, new invariant, uh, new integrals. Carry the same information as um, same information. of chrome of Eaton invariance. So for example, this can be usable to study chrome of Eaton invariant in the, for example, following way. Uh, um, sometimes the uh, some kind of a functorial property of a chromophore with invariant can be hard to hard to see in the using stable map compatibilization. But using that Cauchy map compatibilization, sometimes the uh, such kind uh, some functorial property can be seen very easily, and uh, that uh, functorial property we can. Conjecture that that functorial property must be also holds on the chrome of written side. Um, just so one of the examples is following. <coughs> um, so the, the so the so called abelianization conjectures. Um, it roughly is saying that the um, chrome of width invariance for uh, this non abelian quotients uh, can be described by the uh, chrome of width invariance of abelian quotients. So here T, um, T is a maximal torus inside of Z. Uh, but however, we need some twisting. I mean, there's some twist by um, so, so this this is a conjecture. Um, however, in the Cauchy map case, in the small sense, it's true. I mean, it can be seen true. Uh, conjecture. Oh. This is a question that, uh, So uh, let me just call it QGW. So 
cosine of GW case, that, that's true. And just replace QGW of that one and QGW of that thing. Uh, however, so far, we, we could prove that only the, uh, in the, in, in the, um, small parameter space. So if you heard about uh, quantum cohomology, um, there's some big parameter and small parameter. Um, so you can show that that's true for only small parameter case. Oh, uh, yeah. The proven case is genus zero. This context is uh, generally, generally uh, general conjecture and uh, And genus zero. Uh, so main point is the following. The main point is uh, for this theorem is the following. The, the Q map space. So when when you fix the uh, the genus, uh, the, the sorry the the curve is P1. So once fix P1, so then this means there's small parameter space. And this means actually we are taking only this special Cauchy map space uh, with, without marking uh, genus C, genus zero, zero, zero. Um, that's a, in a sense, uh, Complicated, but still it's a very nice because it has a torus action, sister action uh, from this uh, sister action to P1. So, so they're using that sister action to uh, apply localization, uh, photo localization into that uh, modular space to uh, compute some integrals, and uh, that integrals can be interpret as a such kind of thing also for for, for the uh, non abelian sorry abelian portions that's the way to show it uh, why no no uh, the cyst action actually going from this only So once, once this conjecture, this big conjecture is true, then the abelianization conjecture for chrome of Witten invariance follows from this theorem in the case of a small parameter space and in a zero case. Um, and the probably uh, that this modular space, uh, the uh, might be related to um, what's so called the, uh, uh, the the solution space to uh, symplectic vortex equations. But the uh, vortex uh, equations um, considered by um, by the symplectic geometers, the geometry. Um, um, So probably we is one expect that they are um, the Kobayashi Hitchin correspondence Hitchin type correspondence um, 
holds uh, for, for this case for, for QMAP and maybe uh, this, this solution space. But in some cases that, um, that's known. So for example, the, the fixed P1 and uh, when this is toic variety, uh, that covariance uh, hitch correspondence is known. What I mean by that? In which, yeah, in which sense? Uh, which sense the, uh, uh, you can define the also this solution space of <laughs> some, some uh, PDE, yeah. which I didn't write it, but uh, which is going to be some kind of a, um, some analytic space, a compact analytic space. And uh, one expect the, uh, these two are maybe diffeomorphic. Um, forget all of our. I mean, QMAP is more than just a variety, it's a, a stack. Right, 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 stack, right, 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 right. Oh, that's why, yeah, yeah, you have to forget about that. A stack structure just take up the cross modular space of it as algebraic space. space. Yes. But so far, the, uh, the, in the syntactic geometry, um, they only consider the such a solution space with the fixed curve C, or usually P1 or fixed curve C. Um, so in the case, this is going to be actually scheme. This stack is actually scheme. But, sorry, even the, the syntactic construction, I mean the solution space comes as a syntactic quotient. I don't know. The, the, nobody done yet. It's not done yet. It's not. So, it, uh, so what is known in, in the simple geometry when curve C is fixed, there's a construction, simple geometric construction of the solution space. Yes. Uh, but I think it comes as a simple portion of an infinite dimensional oh. space. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think so. so. Using KG group, right, 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 right there. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Whether right. That's right. Uh, whether, I mean, the correspondence is just, I mean, it, it, it is at some uh, stack theoretic level. Right, right, right. 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 Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. I, I guess you should be in the st stack level, it should be true. So you need the construction for simplex side and then. Comparison. That's not done yet. Um, the, the also another good thing is uh, they are is, uh, <coughs> in the case of a uh, modular space of a genus one map to X, so a product of a, projective space case. So K is zero, no markings. Um, this in general, not smooth in general, not, not smooth step. Unless it's a very trivial case. But however, the, this QMAP space is um, it's a smooth step. The reason is that the, um, the just computation of, of section space H1 of, um, what was that, uh, the C, the so this elliptic curve 
uh, of the, uh, the this tangent space. Um, the t uh, p times z of w. Uh, Relative tangent space over C. Um, actually, th this one is can be written as a um, direct sum of uh, line bundles, and um, if you such that a uh, degree of L is uh, uh, positive, so that H one of that uh, becomes. Uh, Vanishes. So what? So, so, so that the modulus is so quite uh, nice, and and uh, also in the column of written side, it has uh, some meaning. Um, So for example, in the quintic case, well, first of all, I mean the, suppose x is a quintic, the x is inside of a P4. A quintic a collabial hypersurface. Then this x is also written as JT quotient. So f degree 5 homogeneous polynomials uh, divided by uh, sister action. And that this is a, a affine cone inside of a C5. And uh, it's a locally complete intersections, obviously. And because it's defined by one equations. And so that we can apply the uh, we can have the QMAP space into X quintic collabial. So in our case, this is actually a number. Um, that for to find out the class of that one, in fact, equal to the, uh, um, can be written as uh, some um, Euler class of uh, this smooth uh, uh, QMAP space to people. So, so. Oh, no, no, so not the defined zero, of course. Oh, boom. Oh, genus one case. And so that um, the invariance for the uh, color BR case can be studied by, in the genus even one case, studied by the uh, just taking um, certain integrals on this space with uh, various explicit factor bundle. Um, uh, so in that way, um, the, we can relate the, uh, some, um, uh, or study the uh, quotient integrals of that space. Um, that might be, uh, give us a hint also how to study a uh, chromo for eating bands for um, the quintic in the genus one case. So why only quintic? Sorry? Why, why, why only quintic? Oh, it should be true for any, any. Sorry. Yeah. Actually, any, any. Sorry. I just want to, oh, for any hypersurface, actually any, actually any, um, um, let's say, 
Uh, suppose we have uh, two uh, GRT questions, which has some embedding. Then in the case, this picture is true. Here you have to take the virtual fundamental classes because this one is maybe in generally not any more smooth step. But still, there's a factor bundle um, which um, described the, uh, this virtual fundamental class of uh, X inside of a virtual fundamental class inside uh, of this um, ambient space. Yes, okay. Okay, I like stuff.